Hello and welcome to the Brick Rigs. Today we have another set of Rio Bricks or from Rio Bricks. Set number is 66023, the St. Andrews Church. Three thousand three hundred and six pieces, ten building steps. A, what is it? Fourteen plus. We will see. It has a LED lighting kit, and the bag. Yes, I was really surprised because I ordered it without knowing that here is a LED kit included. So I was really happy <laughs> when I packed it out and I saw oh battery. Uh, yeah, I was really happy. Okay, um, Rio Prix is normally very accurate with their measurements. They say it's around 28 by 28 and 38 high. We'll measure it. And uh, it's always not easy to measure with plants going over the plate. So we will see. Okay, now you see some uh, pictures of the assembly and of the final set and then I tell you my opinion about it. You see in the pictures of the assembly, or most of the assembly, not the final two towers, but okay, um, and of the final set and when it's lit and it looks very cool. Well, in my opinion, it looks very, very cool when it's lit and it's uh, very bright, very bright for because these are real LED strips inside here, really to uh, with the 3M uh, um, adhesive, so very nice. Okay, let's go through. Assembly time, uh, 10 building steps, 3306 pieces. I'm a really fast Rio Bricks builder. I was seven and a half hours, something like that, a little bit under eight hours. Um, I would say eight to 12 hours. It depends on how fast you want to build, do you like to build, you have time, and so on. Okay, instructions. Good, not perfect. Um, very good from uh, the angle and everything and the size, no problem at all. Uh, one thing, the colors from instructions and real life are not always comparing, <laughs> are not always the same um, with Rio Bricks. Nowadays they have it with the normal colors, 
uh, very good. So they are really improved the, the quality of the print and, and the color matches, um, but the transparent pieces, it's not easy to, to, to get them right. Uh, but the rest of the instructions is good. You could save at least 30 to 40 uh, uh, sites without any problem, because sometimes you only assemble two pieces or something like that. So it's for beginners too. In my opinion, you can save 50 pages without any problem and can yeah, spare weight and paper, but it is what it is. Um, stickers look really nice. Really nice. I make a photo of them and sh really nice detailed. And the whole set has a lot of nice details. It is really well designed, good looking. It's not a church in my opinion, it's a little chapel, but with a really big entrance and two towers. But inside there's not so much room. It, it looks more like a chapel inside. But uh, okay, the, the assembly itself, it makes fun. It has no wow building techniques uh, or wow usage of parts. Okay, perhaps here the harpoons, um, but the rest is they use the parts for what they are intent. Um, but it makes fun. It's a, it's a nice build. It's a nice build. The pieces have a very good quality from Rio Bricks. Um, sometimes the clutch power is even higher uh, than Lego or competitors. And sometimes you really need a knife or something to get two blades uh, from attachment. So no problem at any time with the parts quality. The, um, the colors, it's always the same white. I didn't see any differences inside, inside the, the colors. There, so that's better than most of the competitors or <laughs> better than the Danish <laughs> competitor. So that's really good. This print is really nice and totally straight. Really, really good. Okay, so the, the assembly, nice. Uh, sometimes you're building a whole wall or segments and putting in, sometimes you put the pieces onto the set. So it's, it's really entertaining and it's an easy, nice, smooth build without any problems um, with the stability or something like that. Uh, the LED kit is really easy to install. Uh, they show it in the instructions. Here is the switch, so it's easy to get it. and. It's not so hard to pull off the roof here, it's a modular, and change the batteries with the battery box. So that's a, a good compromise for easy access, uh, easy changeability of the batteries. So that's okay, that's absolutely okay. The cables are very long, two are inside here. They are attached around three of these white round bricks. And here are transparent blades, so you see in the picture it shines up here into this part of the tower, even if the light is only here. Uh, one brick is underneath here, the roof, and the fourth strip is here on the other side, uh, inside a bow. No, it's not a bow. I don't know, you know what I mean. Uh, it's inside, so it really pops where it needs to pop. Great solution. The strips are long enough, the cables are very long, so no problem with the cable management. You have inside a lot of room and space to get the cables so that you don't see it. You see the picture that I made here. Um, Directly you see some of the cables because uh, I didn't have the time to and I sell it so it, it, ma it makes no sense for me um, to get here 15 minutes into the cable management because I sell it after the video. Um, so okay. Um, yeah, you've seen how it's built and it's it's really entertaining. So uh, Everything now was very positive. Now we come to some not so good things. It's not much. It's really not much. Uh, one thing is here that ah, getting angry. Uh, easy solution here. Just use one brick with stud on side. 
or something like that, a solution, no problem. So you can attach it. It's here is a brick with stud on side. So use another one here, and this here is straighter to the wall, so no problem at all. Then trees. I hate trees. And this here is too much. It's it's too much, it's too colorful. Um, you don't see the second entrance and everything so good. So a push would be enough here. But it's a brick set, so you can change that, no problem. That's not a bummer, in my opinion. It's easy to change. This here is easy to change, so not a big deal. Um, the third thing is inside, and that's easy changeable too. It has not so much in it. It's the altar inside and, and, and uh, stools for eight minifigs, and not much more, but uh, yeah. It's easy to build inside what you want. It's, it's a, a little bit space left, so if you need some more things inside your church, then build it in. It's a brick set, you can change everything. So not real things that are saying, don't buy this. Everything is easy to change, this, this, and inside. And the rest is really, really good. I think it's a good looking church with a lot of details. Perhaps the front is a little bit overloaded for such a small chapel <laughs> behind it, uh, but it's, it's okay, it's absolutely okay. And we don't have much churches. There is another church from Rio Bricks. There is now a church, I believe, from Kobe. Am I right? And uh, there's Notre Dame from Rio Bricks, but Notre Dame is not for your city. Um, so you don't have much possibilities to buy a church. So this is okay. Um, you see, it's not on a base plate. Uh, we have a little bit over 25, 20 par, 25 point something. So a uh, base plate is 25.5. So from the width, no problem to get this onto normal base plate. You can change the tree a little bit for the next house here, or use another house or park or a house with space here or park or a crossing or you do this here as a uh, as a corner building because there's another entrance so it's possible to take it as a corner building no problem the height is really 80 i measured it already it's really 38.5 height and we have a, a depth in that case when you're looking from 26 so if you really want to put this here on a normal base plate, you have to leave the first two rows of bricks and, or plates and, and, and um, plates and tiles away. So it's easy to get this on a normal base plate and easy to get this into your city. The problems you can fix them really easy. Build a small bush, use one brick here, and inside. You don't see it, so you only know it. You are the only one that know there's only room for eight people in there. So, in my opinion, no problem. It looks nice and the colors are nice. This is too much color here, but the church itself, it's okay. I would say leave away the yellow leaves here. Something golden or, 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 or would perhaps be better because we have golden. Uh, mesh here for the windows. So that's really the only thing and it's really colorful in the front but you can change everything of that. The rest is really good looking, well designed, well colored, nice church. Okay, what is next? Um, I still build in the Chimera, the uh, 3000 pieces. I try to finish it at the weekend, so I can show it to you next week. And another, then I have two cars, a 1x8 Technicar, the Ferrari SF90 from Gulli with metallic red panels and uh, Technic beams, so this looks awesome. And uh, a Formula 1 car, the Red Bull from Rasta. Uh, without power functions, but I have some power functions still lying in the cellar. Lying laying in the cellar and uh, so I can show you the, the F1 car with power functions in hope that it is a fast uh, 
Formula One car. <laughs> it should be. It's a Formula One car. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'm Frank, one of your Brick Freaks. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And have a good time. Bye-bye.